Hey folks, welcome back. It's good to see you again. It's going to be a great episode. I swear I could teach law school just based on Donald Trump's lawsuit. This week, he sued CNN for over a half of a billion dollars, and it's going to be a great lawsuit to discuss. You're going to learn a lot about jurisprudence. Uh, he sued CNN in a federal court in Florida, and you're definitely going to learn a lot about free speech and freedom of the press and what they're allowed to say, what they're not allowed to say. Enjoy the episode, and let's get to it. All right. Hey, a couple of interesting things have happened in the, the last few weeks, right? So Elon Musk agreed to buy Twitter for a second time. Uh, if you go back to that last, uh, about two months ago, I discussed this lawsuit with Twitter and uh, Elon Musk, and I predicted that Elon Musk would lose that lawsuit. And to save face, he would likely settle. And the settlement options will, would be that he would pay a lot of money just to get out of that deal, or he would just go ahead and buy Twitter. And uh, sure enough, he is proceeding with it. So the link to that episode, uh, which is a good episode about breach of contract and how purchase agreements and contracts work, uh, we'll put the link to that episode in the comments below. And then another interesting uh, one is Donald Trump is going to the United States Supreme Court to block this uh, case regarding the document seized from Mar-a-Lago. Uh, so that's an interesting one. The Supreme Court will likely hear that issue because it you know, involves the president and uh, the FBI and, and all that great jazz, all right? And if you wanna know more about the intricate legal issues about that, I did do an episode regarding the Mar-a-Lago documents and I'll put the link to that one below. Okay, now let's get to it. A half over a half of a billion dollars. That's a lot of money, right? And uh, this week in October 2022, Donald Trump sued CNN in a federal court in Florida. Okay, um, now it's a very, very interesting lawsuit. And I am going to explain why it is not going to win, <laughs> okay? Hey, Donald Trump will not win this case, all right? And I'm gonna explain it. And, uh, you know, f as always, as you have been, feel free to uh, put your notes in the comments and all that jazz, all right? I love hearing from you folks and I love responding to you folks. All right, so this lawsuit, he, he has two basic points. The first one is that CNN uh, lied about, uh, let me think how to say, they that CNN lied about Donald Trump and defamed him by saying that he's a liar, <laughs> right? That he was spreading the big lie and by comparing him to Adolf Hitler, right? So he was saying that CNN uh, lied intentionally and with actual malice, okay? That's the first kind of prong. Uh, the second one um, if that doesn't work, so to speak, you know, the kind of the other argument. And this one I have never heard before until this lawsuit, okay? He said, uh, even though the actual malice standard is met here, this is the lawsuit, in circumstances like these, the judicially created policy of the actual malice standard should not apply, okay? So he's saying, okay, in case you don't find actual malice, um, and if you need to, you know, you don't need actual malice. Okay. So that's the second, the kind of the lower argument, so to speak. Right. And he's saying that we don't need actual malice because, and this is the terminology I've never heard before, ideological homogeneity in the media or in the channels of information distribution risks repressing certain ideas from the public consciousness, just as surely as if access were restricted by the government. What? is going on there, <laughs> okay? So uh, what he's saying is that CNN has some sort of ideological uh, problem with him and that they are intentionally uh, misleading so that they could get rid of his ideology, <laughs> right? And that is illegal. He is saying, all right, so this is what we're going to uh, unravel here in this uh, in this great lawsuit. Okay, now, first things first, I, I, and by the way, 
in the 90s, when I before I even went to law school, when I was uh, at college at UCLA, I remember I took a, like a constitutional law class, and I remember the uh, the professor once saying, you know, in every single case, the first order of business that you dispute or you address is jurisdiction. Okay, so before we address the substantive issues here, uh, let's explain where he's suing CNN. Okay, he's suing CNN in a federal court in Florida, and it's for the state law of Florida uh, says that, you know, if, if there's some sort of defamation, then you are, you know, you have a cause of action, right? Uh, meaning you could sue someone for defamation. Now, uh, that is a state of Florida law. Now, there's a limit to it, and the limit is the first speech, okay? And that one, uh, you know, the the jurisprudence of the free speech saying that, if you want to sue the news reporters and if you're a public person like Donald Trump, right, you have to show some sort of actual malice. You have to show that they're lying and that there was like an, like an intentional lie behind it type of thing. All right. So uh, why is he able to sue in federal court as opposed to the state court? Uh, and then the law students are going to love this part, right? Diversity jurisdiction, it's called. Diversity jurisdiction allows uh, if the plaintiff is a citizen of a different state than the defendant and the controversy is over $75,000, then you could sue the defendant in a federal court. You don't have to go to the state court. Uh, and in this one, that's what he did. He he sued in the federal court and uh, his position is that the lawsuit is worth more than $75,000. He's a state of Florida and CNN is organized and headquartered in Georgia. Right. So they are states of, uh, you know, different jurisdictions. Now, the crazy thing is this. I think he would have been better off in the state court <laughs> because um, the federal court, they have a lot, especially in California, like defendants love going to the federal court because the federal court, it's a little tougher to win as a plaintiff in the federal court. You have to in, in the federal court, you have to convince all 100 percent of the jurors of your case in a civil case. Whereas like in the state court, you, you know, if you get like 10 out of 12 of them, you could uh, win your lawsuit type of thing. So it's, it's defendants actually usually love going to the federal court. So he sued them in the federal court. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway. Okay. I don't know. I would love to see why they did that. The only thing I could possibly think of is that they thought that the attorneys for CNN would try to remove it to the federal court so that they they didn't want to go through that. But there's a way around that procedure. Um, but nonetheless, that's what they decided to do. Okay, so for whatever reasons, that is why we are in the federal court. Now we're going to address the substance of this lawsuit, all right? And the beauty about this lawsuit, like I've been telling people, is that there's going to be, what I like to say, a lot of lawyers making a lot of money on this lawsuit. It is pretty crazy to me because it's, I could tell you right now, it's not going to go anywhere. So, um, you know, but there's going to be a lot of lawyers making a lot of money. Now, let me explain why. Okay, so here we go. Now, Donald Trump in this lawsuit, it's kind of funny. He first uh, touts how... CNN is the most trusted, okay, CNN calls itself the most trusted name in news, right? So he he goes in detail, the lawsuit goes in detail explaining that, well, CNN puts itself out there as a news reporter, as a, an objective news reporter, right? And his uh, relationship with CNN is miserable. Like they hate each other. CNN, and Donald Trump, they've sued each other. They hate each other. You know, I've had relationships, I think with debt collectors that have been better than his relationship with CNN. All right. Uh, take a listen to this little clip. This is, um, Christina Amanpour when she was with CNN, basically calling Donald Trump a Hitler <laughs> right? I mean, that's it. That's what she's saying. All right, listen to it right now. It was the Nazis' warning shot across the bow of our human civilization that led to genocide against a whole identity. And in that tower of burning books, it led to an attack on fact, knowledge, history, and truth. After four years of a modern day assault on those same values by Donald Trump. All right. So uh, there are uh, millions of examples like this where there, uh, you know, CNN, well, <laughs> thousands of examples, okay, uh, of CNN 
comparing Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler, right? And comparing his kind of tactics and how he talks and how he tries to present himself and how he tries to convince his uh, constituents and everything, that they have compared him to Adolf Hitler a ton of times, right? I think all of us agree to that, that they have done that, okay? And now comes, uh, you know, and they've done it in a lot of ways. They've done it by uh, interviewing people, you know, at one point they interviewed uh, Representative Raskin, uh, who's a congressman from Maryland, and uh, he stated things like, you know, Donald Trump is a Russian uh, lackey, all right, you know, a cult leader, uh, you know, and he's also comparing Donald Trump to Hitler. Um, for some reason, CNN also interviewed Linda Ronstadt, who was one heck of a great singer from the 70s, all right? Ah, like. And in, in the lawsuit, Donald Trump is saying, like, what is CNN doing interviewing a singer about, uh, about me, right? And uh, he says this in a way, uh, his position is that the CNN is selecting who to interview, and they go so far, you know, they interview like a psychiatrist at one point who um, who says, oh, Donald Trump is, you know, crazy, right? Um, more or less, okay? And then they interview a singer so that they're basically going out of their way, CNN, to uh, just find people that are going to say things about Donald Trump, like he's a Russian lackey, he's a cult leader, he's like Hitler, you know, he's a liar, he's this, he's that. So he goes out of his way to say that CNN is doing this and they're doing this kind of in a uh, in a way that's kind of like targeting him and very, very specifically going after him, all right? Um, and then, let's see, it goes on. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's, it is, there is more to it, okay? Um, Donald Trump, now, he has to show, okay, ordinarily, he has to show that they are lying about a certain fact, okay, and that they're doing this intentionally, all right? Um, a lot of times, you know, the, the person getting sued will say, well, we're not lying by saying that we think he's Hitler-like, okay, because that's an opinion, and opinions, you know, you can have any opinion you want, right? In fact, we asked Donald Trump, what do you think of our podcast? Listen to what he said about our podcast. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> right? So you could have any opinion you want, right? You can have an opinion that the podcast is awesome. The podcast is miserable. Joe Samo is funny. Joe Samo doesn't make any sense. You know, whatever you want. This is an opinion. So it's hard to show that they're lying about some sort of like factual issues about Donald Trump if all they're relating is an opinion. Now, Donald Trump cited a few cases in the past, right, that stated uh, things like this. Okay, like there was one case where they called a reporter a, uh, you know, they said something like the, the defendant said, oh, that reporter, he's a pro-Nazi, you know, he's a Nazi sympathizer, Okay, and then uh, another case where a district attorney was uh, claiming somebody used Hitler-like tactics in his investigations, okay? And um, in those cases, uh, and I assure you, those cases must have been very tough to come across because it's rare. Uh, in those cases, these courts, um, one in uh, da, 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 Texas, all right, these cases, and then one in Tennessee, so one in Texas, one in Tennessee, the court did say uh, this could be libel, right, uh, by saying somebody is a Nazi sympathizer or saying that somebody is acting just like Hitler, right? Now, CNN is going to say the difference is that they didn't say he's a Nazi sympathizer. They just said his, uh, I mean, well, they're saying he's acting like Hitler, <laughs> right? And, uh, and it is, you know, in law, it's really, really funny because you can find a case in the past that says anything. Okay. The majority of the cases, uh, in first, uh, amendment jurisprudence is that anything that 
is an opinion or sounds like an opinion or is close to an opinion is uh, protected speech, right? So even though he found, and this is always difficult to explain to people, even though he found one case from uh, 1961 and another one from the 1940s, even though he found a case where a court said, oh, if this is proven, it could be defamation, um, it's not going to work for him, all right? Because the all of the cases after that, you know, all the cases before that, you know, there's a lot of Supreme Court decisions that are, you know, obviously have much more authority than these state court opinions that state if something is more like an opinion, then uh, the defendant is off the hook, okay? So this is going to be something, uh, some of you might say, man, Joe Samo, why are you spending so many minutes saying the same thing over and over? This is this is going to be debated and there's going to be a lot of lawyers making a lot of money debating this issue for the next few years before it's decided. I swear to God, I think judges, I think they just let the, like, they should just dismiss this case immediately, but they would never do that because then the lawyers would not make a lot of money, right? <laughs> no, it's a little conspiracy theory of mine, right? I mean, come on. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's going to be their defense. Now, he then states that CNN did something that, you know, he makes some good arguments, okay? Um he says that now CNN, when they weren't getting much traction, which, you know, uh, comparing him to Hitler and whatnot, then CNN, after the election uh, and after Donald Trump challenged the election, this is being the election of 2020, then CNN, right, they kept saying that Donald Trump, you know, is pushing his big lie, all right? And uh, here it is in big terms, big lie, uh, sorry. Big lie, <laughs> right? You've heard it millions of times. So that's the next step. So he's first saying that they kept comparing me to Hitler. The next thing he's saying is they kept pushing this big lie theory, right? Meaning that uh, CNN was saying that Donald Trump was lying to everybody by saying that the election was rigged, that it had problems, that really he was the one that should have won, not uh, Joe Biden, right? Uh, so this is the the next kind of like the uh, the next part of his lawsuit, the next kind of like big allegations that relate to that. OK, um, now that one. OK, he has very good arguments here. All right. I like his argument. It is very creative. All right. Let me let me explain some of them. These were uh, very, very fun to go over. OK, so he quotes this interview of Chris Cuomo who is the son of the late New York governor, Mario Cuomo. He used to work for CNN. He was then fired by CNN. And in 2018, Chris Cuomo interviewed Stacey Abrams. And Stacey Abrams uh, was a uh, in the state of Georgia. She served in the legislature for the state of Georgia. And she was a big kind of proponent of getting people out there to vote. And she was kind of pushing voters to vote. And, you know, Georgia voted Democrat in the year 2020. And a lot of people uh, said that she had a big part in that. Uh, now, when they were, when Chris Cuomo was interviewing her in 2018, she was talking about, and this is on CNN air, she was talking about her initiative and her initiative was called Fair Fight Georgia. And what she was saying about that initiative is pretty interesting. So this is Stacey Abrams saying that, well, in Georgia, you know, there's a lot of machines that are like these old, old machines and they flip like the first names and last names of some people. And then sometimes those votes don't get counted. Okay. She said that in 2018. She also said things like, well, it's, you know, some voting areas are harder to vote in, you know, right. You usually, you know, where's, uh, um, you know, poor neighborhoods, neighbors that are more black, right. They're a little tougher to vote in. Right. And she was saying that these things caused the elections to be unfair. So she was pushing in 2018 all these initiatives to change that. And she was saying that, you know, this is because past elections were not fair. And that's why she wants to push this fair agenda, right? 
So then Donald Trump says, you know, through this lawsuit, uh, why isn't anyone calling her Adolf Hitler, right? Why isn't anyone saying that she's spreading the big lie? She's challenging all these elections. She's saying the elections are unfair. Da, 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 da. So am I, right? But CNN is only going after me, Donald Trump, and not this liberal Democrat, Stacey Abrams, okay? I love that argument. I thought I got a chuckle out of it. It was pretty cool, okay? Um, then there's another one that I like even more. This one was awesome. Okay. Then in 2016, everyone remember Donald Trump defeats Hillary Clinton in the year 2016. And then after that election, he says, CNN itself was reporting about potential unfairness because of da -da 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 -da, Russian interference, right? And that uh, he's saying in 2016, that CNN is, you know, reporting about this Russian interference, saying that the 2016 election may have been, uh, you know, unfair or improper, you know, because of this Russian interference. And then CNN interviewed, uh, you know, Joe Biden, Jimmy Carter, uh, John Lewis, Dianne Feinstein, Dianne Feinstein, the senator for California. She's been the senator for California since California became a state in the 1800s, okay? <laughs> Um, and so anyway, okay. So he's saying that all these people, all these, uh, Democrats, right. Uh, were saying that the, the Russians interfered with the elections and the election of 2016 was, uh, unfair, you know, or, or it was interfered with, you know, things like that. Right. And he's saying in this lawsuit, how come CNN is not calling Jimmy Carter, Adolf Hitler, <laughs> right? I love it. I love it. It is beautiful argument, right? Why, you know, in fact, CNN were, was praising these individuals and not calling them Adolf Hitler. Uh, and so he criticizes and he's saying that this is evidence of malice. The fact that all these, uh, the liberals, you know, are claiming that these elections were done unfairly and that they were, uh, you know, biased and they, you know, and that CNN did not go after them. Uh, but when he said the 2020 election was unfair and, and improper and all that jazz, then CNN is calling him Adolf Hitler, right? And that, you know, he's trying to uh, press this, uh, propaganda. Okay. And this big lie, right? Well, a big lie. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, this is a very, very awesome argument. I dig it. I really, really dig it now. Uh, and I think I dig it because it's gonna like push the lawsuit and a lot of lawyers will make a lot of money, uh, you know, arguing over things like that. It's not, not, not going to work. All right. And this case will not even go to a jury. I think the court will throw this case out way before it goes to a jury. Um, it, they'll throw this case. It's 2022. Probably give me a call in the year 2025. Around that time, this is when the case will be thrown out for good. I, that's my prediction, right? Now, there are reasons why that argument won't work, okay? And uh, now keep in mind, these are heck of good like debate points or, you know, you know, uh, things that he could say to refute CNN or, or whatever. Right. Or claim that CNN is, uh, you know, even if he claims that, you know, CNN uh, has kind of a more, you know, favorable twist to liberals. Right. It doesn't. He has to show that they're intentionally lying. Okay. And the fact that, you know, probably it sounds like CNN, um, agreed or found evidence or, you know, didn't disagree when they said that, Hey, there's uh, evidence of Russian interference, right? Uh, according to CNN, they said that, well, uh, we did find evidence of that. And even our own government, even the federal government said that there was, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Like hacks into the system and, and all that other jazz. Right. So that CNN said that. So when somebody is saying that there was Russian interference, they're not like pushing a big lie. They're not trying to like trick the people into like overthrowing an election. Right. So um, that is enough. Okay. Right or wrong. That's enough to defeat this lawsuit. Right. And Stacey Abrams, she, her position 
wasn't that, you know, the previous election should be overthrown or redone or she, she, she didn't go that far. She just said that it's a, it's a lot more difficult for, you know, poor black people in Atlanta to vote than it is for people in rich suburbs and whatnot, you know, and clearly CNN interviewed people, CNN, you know, uh, did their own investigation. They talked, you know, they had people that used to live there and whatnot. And a lot of people agreed with that. And CNN did not think that Stacey Abrams was pushing some sort of lie and that she was trying to overthrow some sort of elections and that she was like, she kept telling the lie over and over again. Do you see what I'm saying? So all of that in itself will uh, defeat that. And that is the closest that Donald Trump gets in this lawsuit to any sort of kind of like legitimate claims, okay? Um, like I said, it was very well done, all right? I give credit to his lawyers, who are these good people. James Trusty. That is one heck of a name for a lawyer, isn't it? Trusty. <laughs> Talk about a big lie, calling a lawyer trusty, right? <laughs> Talk about defamation, calling a lawyer trusty. No. Okay. And then uh, Lindsay Halligan. I dig it. You folks, I dig those arguments. I love those arguments. Okay. Now, just in case, just in case, that's not enough to defeat this uh, lawsuit. There's more, okay? And this is why I am 100% sure that this lawsuit's going nowhere, okay? Donald Trump himself did the same things to CNN, <laughs> right? Uh, here, take, take a listen here. Donald Trump kept calling CNN. Right. Trivia, what did Donald Trump keep calling CNN? Two words. Ah, fake news, all right? He kept calling CNN fake news. And those people have been just absolutely excoriated by some of the fake news, like you, your CNN, your fake news. So there you have it, right? So Donald Trump is doing the same thing that he's alleging that CNN did that was defamatory. He's calling CNN a bunch of liars, right? Uh, they're spreading fake news and whatnot, okay? So uh, it's going to be difficult for him to say that this is uh, defamation if he's also saying the same things, <laughs> right? It's just, uh, it's going to be difficult, all right? And then the other thing he did that was, you know, like, so, so remember when I said that he kept complaining that CNN um you know, compared him to Hitler and, and uh, you know, Nazi propaganda. My goodness, he did the same thing. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. So, so there you have it. Um, in fact, Donald Trump, he said the, own, the federal government itself was... Uh, you know, kind of acting like Nazi propaganda by spreading false information, right? And that the the media was advancing that, uh, you know, and that there's, you know, that they're all acting like this Nazi propaganda. So how is this, you know, it, it's going to be like, in addition, I don't even think uh, if, if he was even innocent of like, he never said those things, he would still lose the lawsuit. Now that he said all those things, especially, you know, the two things that he has on CNN is, you know, them calling him the big lie, right? And then them saying that he's acting Hitler-like. Freaking, he did the same thing to them, all right? And this will not go unnoticed. This is a big deal, right? It's like, how is he going to possibly beat them in this lawsuit? Okay, now... um, in terms of the damages, right? I've mentioned this before. In law school, there was a class that's called remedies. Remedies being like, okay, so you were wrong. What's the remedy, right? Uh, here, he's asking for a lot of money, <laughs> okay? Uh, he's asking for, so, okay, prayer for relief, all right? It's very funny, uh, the words us lawyers use. In the lawsuit, it says prayer for relief, right? Uh, wherefore plaintiff Donald Trump demands compensatory damages in an amount in excess of $75,000. Um, then he's saying punitive damages in the amount of $475 million. 
I always wonder where did they where did he come up with four hundred seventy five million dollars? Why wasn't it four hundred seventy four or four hundred seventy six million? Okay, uh, all taxable litigation costs. Oh yeah, like Donald Trump pays taxes. Ah, just joking. Okay, don't go around suing Joe Samuel for defamation. Uh, Pre judgment interest, post judgment interest, and a trial by jury. Um, if I were to predict of those four things, Donald Trump will get none of them. Okay. Now, so it brings me to my next point, I guess, which is why is he doing this? You know, like I always like to tell people, I am a lawyer. I am not a psychologist and I'm not some sort of uh, public relations, uh, you know, advocate or, or whatever. Right. Uh, all I could opine about is what I am an expert in, which is the law. And I am positive Donald Trump's lawsuit against CNN will lose. All right. I am 100 percent sure of that. And um, why he's doing it. I mean, he has very good lawyers. It could be for public relations. It could be that he knows, hey, it's cheaper to hire lawyers to file a lawsuit than it is for, you know, whatever, commercial time. I don't know. Maybe he has a big ego. He just likes to see himself in the news. I don't know. Maybe uh, he thinks that if he keeps fighting them, that they'll try, they'll start being nicer to him. Like I said, I have no idea uh, why he would do such a thing. I do think, and I commend him, I mean, he has the courage to go after these big companies, which is pretty cool. I kind of dig that. And of course, I will never, ever talk bad about somebody that ensures that a lot of lawyers will make a lot of money and he's doing that. So for my fellow, my, my brethren, the fellow lawyers out there making a ton of money filing this lawsuit and then CNN is going to pay a ton of money to beat it. All right. So I could never be upset at Donald Trump for doing that. So, all right, thanks for hiring my brethren and keeping them employed. All right. Listen, I'd love to hear what you think. Please hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, at any time, if you have your own question or you want to run something by your lawyer, give me a call 619-672-1741 or my email joe at samolaw.com. Until then, see you next week. 